Hey, welcome back. Today, I'm going to look at a system called Quared OS. And here we are on the website of Quared OS. And on the about, it says Quared OS is a GNU Linux distribution focused on stability and constant performance on computers of any range without losing any functionality. This distribution is not only a derivative with a customized desktop environment, but it has a series of optimizations and performance improvements, including optimization of active services, improvements in the use of the processor, among many others. And it's Debian based, light and fashionable, uses Sway, and it also has its own repositories. And there's other information on here. Uh, you can read through, I'll have the link down in the video description. But I'm going down to the downloads, and here in the downloads, there's two versions, Quared OS Standard and Quared OS Legacy. So I downloaded the uh, legacy version, and it's the one I have uh, booted up on the uh, virtual machine. So right here it says, originally, Quartal OS was planned as XFCE only. An idea initially discarded, but now revi revived as a dedication edition. So this is the one that I downloaded, and I have it currently in a virtual machine. But they also have the standard edition. And right here it says, this is the edition with the default Quartal OS environment, which has the sway Wayland and i3 XOR window manager. So if you want to take a look at the standard one, you could do that also. But like I said, I downloaded the XFCE version just to make it easier for new users to look at. All right, so let's head on over to the uh, virtual machine and get it installed and take a look at Cuervo OS Legacy. And I'm here on the virtual machine right now and got it booted up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the installer. It looks like it's going to do the Calamari's installer, but that's a uh, Let's launch it and see what it is. And it is a Calamari's installer. And as it begins, it says American English as our default language. I'm going to click Next. America, New York is selected as our time zone, but I'm actually in Los Angeles. So click Next. Uh, keyboard layout, English default. Click Next. I'm going to select it to erase disk. Click Next. Then I'll just add some user info and give it a strong and complicated password. And I'll set it to login automatically. Click next, get an overview of all the changes you're making. Click on install and it's installing. All right. And you can see right here, it's also, uh, looks like it's in Spanish. Bienvenidos a Cuarto S. Gracias por elegir nuestra distribución. Espere mientras el sistema se instala. So yeah, basically saying, uh, welcome to Quart OS. Thanks for using our distribution and uh, wait while the system is installed. Getting a little bilingual on you guys, huh? All right, then. All right, I'm going to pause the video now. And when we come back, we should be uh, fully installed on Quart OS. And the installer is now done. So uh, restart now is clicked automatically. So I'll just select done and we should reboot into the new system. And the system is now rebooted. So let's go ahead and fix the screen resolution. Let's go open up our settings manager. Open up display, set it to 1920 by 1080. Apply, keep this configuration. All right, and now we are properly at a 1080p resolution. Uh, the icons didn't uh, fare out fairly, but uh, that's okay. I'm not worried about them. All right, so this is the uh, XFCE desktop environment. We have our panel on top with the system tray on the right and our launch application on the left. All right, so it's using the uh, whisker menu. So you can see right here, uh, it's a little... Uh, set up in the icon view. So I'm assuming this is going to be the favorites. And it is. Next below that is all applications. And then we have accessories, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, and office. And then we have our settings and our system. 
Then, of course, down here we have our uh, power button, switch user, logout. And then we have a lock and then our settings manager. And we also have a search right here on the bottom, which works like all Wesker menus. So you just search what you're looking for and you should be able to find it. All right, so this is Cuerdo S. Like I said, this is the uh, legacy version. It's using the X XFCE desktop environment. So uh, going back to our application launcher, let's look at our favorites. And we have uh, Firefox. So let's see what version of Firefox we're running here. Okay. It's a, uh, wow. Not sure if it's running in full screen mode or what, but uh, it's not set up like a usual Firefox. You got the icon up here. So let me try clicking on F11 and see what happens. Now that's full screen. All right. Well, let's take a look at the uh, about. And we have version Mozilla Firefox Debian package, Mozilla Dev 1.0. All right, surprising that it is a uh, Debian package and it's not an ESR. And on the bottom right here, you can see it's a 122.0. All right, and it is a uh, customized. It's using some type of theming on the web browser itself, but it automatically opens up the uh, Cuerdo OS web page and pretty much the same thing we saw earlier. It's all about right here. So this is Firefox. All right. Let's get back to the favorites. What else we got here? Got evolution, file manager, terminal, and a system monitoring system. So evolution is to read your emails and file manager should be Thunar and it is. And if we look at the about, it says it's 4.18.4. Pretty standard edition for uh, Thunar. All right, and then back on the favorites, we have a terminal emulator. So this one actually is Sakura. So it's not the XFCE terminal. I'm pretty sure the XFCE terminal is installed, but uh, it's using as its favorite. It's using Sakura, it says right here. And let's see if we got HTOP installed. And we do. And it's using 527 megabytes out of 4 gigabytes. It's not bad at all. And let's see if we got any more info. It's pretty much uh, it's pretty much it. All right, let's go ahead and close this down. See if we got NeoFetch installed. And we do have NeoFetch. Let's see if I can zoom it. And I can. You can see right here, squared OS. The kernel it's using, 6.1.66. Our desktop environment is going to be XFCE 4.18. The window manager is XF window manager 4. And you also got your themes, icons, terminal, CPU, GPU, memory, and the disk usage. And this is your terminal emulator. All right. Now, Let's look under graphics and see what we have. We have GIMP, GThumb, Image Magic, and LibreOffice. So let's take a look at GIMP. It's 2.10. Make it full screen and take a look at the about. And GIMP is 2.10.34. And if you click on check for updates, you can download 2.10.36. All right, back to the application launcher. Let's take a look on the internet. We already saw Firefox and multimedia. Have Audacious, which is our musical player. And, oh, has a little Nintendo theme here. All right, I'll just go ahead and close that. <laughs> and back to our multimedia, we have Celluloid. Celluloid being a pretty standard uh, video player. Runs on MPV or MVP, whichever one that is. But let's take a look at the about and celluloid 0 0.20, a GTK, a GTK front end for MPV. 
So whenever you install celluloid, pretty much you install MPV also, which is right here also. It's just, I guess celluloid is more like a skin on top of MPV. All right. Then under office, we have our uh, standard office suite. Pretty much looks like everything's installed on here. So let's open up Calc. And let's get a version on uh, LibreOffice. All right. Got a little tips. Click on OK. Click on Help. About LibreOffice. And version 7.4.7.2. LibreOffice Community. And if you close it here, it should open up the, the base page, which gives you all of your versions here. You got Writer, Calc, Impress, Draw, Math, and Base. And that's LibreOffice. And going back, look at our settings from right here. Pretty much you can set up your entire system. And as always, you know, this button right here pretty much opens up everything that's right here on this list. So if you wanted to just look at it all, you can just click on that button and give you all the access to your system settings so you can uh, tweak it and do make whatever changes you want to it to make it your own. And under our systems, we have some few games, firewall settings, we got HTOP, Pac-Man, Sakura, which is the uh, terminal we just saw. And you got Synaptic Package Manager. So if you want to install software, you can use Synaptic. And you got your other things here, Tetris, and pretty much mixed bag of things in here, Bleachbit, Firewall, GDB. But uh, let's take a look at uh, Synaptic Package Manager. We really don't get to see this a lot. This, uh, this is your uh, Debian uh, Package Manager. And from right here, if you want to install packages, you just click on search, find what you're looking for. So let's see. Let's see if they got you get. And there's you get. Just click on it. Mark for installation. Click on apply. Then apply and boom. Downloads it, installs it, and sets it all up for you. And this is synaptic. So let's take a look at the about, and it is Synaptic Package Manager 0.91.3. All right, and we did just download UGET, so I guess we'll look under Internet, and there it is, UGET, which is your download manager. And on the about, let's take a look, and it is UGET 2.2.3, Download Manager. All right, well, this is Square Up OS. Works pretty good. No problems whatsoever. Everything works. Uh, package manager works. Terminal works. Everything. Everything opened up worked properly. It is a uh, highly themed, so you got a lot of theming on here. But uh, like I said, it looks good. It works good. And uh, no issues whatsoever for me. Other than when we resize the screen, the uh, icons are like kind of like right here in the middle, which they should be. I would guess down here in the corner, but I'm pretty sure that uh, a system uh, reboot would fix that. But uh, this is my uh, first look at Puerto OS. Uh, if it's something you like, I'll have all the links down in the video description. That way you can uh, take a look at it and play with it yourself. And if you decide to use this on bare metal as your production uh, system, then, you know, hopefully it all works out great. All right, that's going to do it for me, and I'm out.